Bob Durst. I'm a principal in Simple Organic Solutions. We're a consulting company that helps people enter the organic industry, moving from conventional products to organic products. With my background in food science and processing, I was really able to come in with the expertise and the knowledge of how things were done to understand what was going to be necessary for the organic movement. I've spent 20 years as a food scientist working primarily with fruits and juice products, uh, understanding what was necessary to uh, produce higher quality products, and in addition to that, looking at the analytical chemistry of products to determine both health benefits and also authenticity of products. As a food scientist, I've really worked to help improve the quality of products out in the marketplace. There's a lot of things that consumers don't necessarily know uh, just because they don't have the knowledge or the, the wherewithal to determine these things that I've worked to make sure that behind the scenes kind of the industry is really doing a good job of producing high quality products. One of the problems in the juice industry has been that products as they're becoming really, really popular, they become in short supply or they're in, uh, very expensive and there's a lot of incentive, economic incentive for people to adulterate those products or misbrand them, blend them off with cheaper juices, something like that. And that can be a real problem in that if you expect a health benefit from a particular product and you buy something that's labeled that way and it really doesn't have that juice in it, then you're not going to get the benefit and you're going to wonder why did I buy this product that didn't have the benefit that I expected it to have. So having authentic products and quality products is really important, especially when people are looking at them for health benefit purposes. There are a lot of aspects of organic agriculture and organic products that are real different from conventional products and it really starts at the farm, which is where the whole organic movement started, was ensuring that the quality of the soil, the quality of, of the environment around the, the crop products was done in a sustainable, more beneficial manner. So while it's largely directed at no pesticides, no herbicides, there's also the problem of synthetic fertilizers going in um, and the, the biodiversity of the soil and beneficial insects. If you spray a pesticide through things, it's strictly it kills everything, beneficials and the bad things. Whereas if you work in, a, in an organic, sustainable manner, you target in some ways the, the detrimental insects, but you promote the beneficials and you get a, a, a much more biodiverse and, and sustainable process and product going out of it. The organic movement probably has very little effect on the farm to the consumers. Most of us live in cities and, and we don't notice what's going on there. But in the long term, the, benef the, the uh, benefit to the planet is substantial in making sure that we're not polluting the environment, we're not polluting the water table, we're continuing to grow things in a sustainable manner so that our kids, our kids' kids, and on many generations can continue to enjoy the kinds of things that we have right now. <laughs> The benefit of having good nutrition to the consumer instead of a lot of the fast food kind of products is that the nutrition levels that we're getting now are just way, way diminished from what they used to be for old products. Some of that has been because the products, have, the, the varieties that are being grown have been bred and are being produced for the mass market. They need to be transportable, they, they need to be tough, and tomatoes is a, is a good example here where Tomatoes are bred now to ripen all at the same time so that they can be picked all at once. They've lost a lot of flavor. If you talk to people that grow tomatoes in their home garden, they'll go, oh, there's such a difference between a homegrown tomato and what you buy in the grocery store. And it's because they've been bred and they haven't paid attention to flavor quality and at the same time nutrition quality. They've been, they've been bred to be able to easily transport them put them on a truck, drive them across the country, and still have them look okay, but they don't taste okay and they don't have the nutrition quality that they really should have. One of the basic tenets of the organic movement is that uh, GMOs, genetically modified organisms, are not allowed in any of the farm side or processing side of things. And not only is it 
something that the folks don't like the technology of, but to a large degree, that technology has not been used or applied to these products to help the consumer with better nutrition or better quality product in some way, shape, or form. It's all designed to help the farmer, actually it's to help Monsanto, make money by allowing Roundup to be sprayed through a field and the, kills the weeds and doesn't affect the crop, which maybe gives them a higher yield, but it doesn't affect the quality and it certainly doesn't improve the nutrition of the product at, at all. So when, when a product like Rescue Me, if it's been in, in the conventional side of things and wants to turn organic, the kinds of things that they have to do is each and every of the ingredients that, that are here, the agricultural ingredients, has to be certified organic. So you have to go all the way back to the farm and say, can you supply me with organic grape juice, organic cranberry juice, lime juice, all the rest of the ingredients that are in the product. So all of those farms have to be certified to meet the National Organic Program standards for labeling it as organic. In addition to that, after each of the individual ingredients is certified on the farm, then the processor, the one that puts these things together, manufactures or formulates it, puts them in a package, they also have to be certified to make sure that the, the integrity of those organic ingredients when they, were, when they came from the farm is maintained all the way through the processing, the packaging, etc. One of the things that is required is that at, at least every year an inspector from a third party organization comes to the facility, walks through it, observes what's going on, checks all the ingredients on the label, makes sure that in fact what the label says is going on <coughs> is really what's happening in the plant to ensure the integrity of the product. And that doesn't happen on the conventional side of things. Very few processing facilities are visited that often by any kind of regulatory body. When, when Organic Liaison came to me for assistance in formulating this product, one of the things that they were very interested in was having a high fiber content for the nutritional side of things. And we looked at a bunch of different sources for fibers, and again, they have to be certified organic, and that's a challenge in product formulation because there aren't the same breadth of products that are available certified organic as there are on the conventional side. But we ran across one of them that was very, very interesting that has a lot of nutritional benefit because it's not readily metabolized but provides high fiber content, which is really a, a good ingredient in a product like this. One of the other ingredient categories that went into the formulation to rescue me was trying to keep a very high antioxidant content. So there's a number of ingredients in here, that, in particular the colored fruit juices that are in here, the grape, the cranberry, etc., that provide really high levels of antioxidants. What antioxidants do is they counteract free radicals. And free radicals are produced during metabolism, uh, both at the cellular level and at the whole body level. So keeping high levels of antioxidants in your diet is really important to promoting a healthy body and, and uh, enhancing longevity. Another product category or in ingredient category that's present in Rescue Me are the minerals. And those are really important because a lot of the foods that we're eating now are fairly deficient in minerals because of the way they've been grown and processed. And so, one, organic products generally have much higher levels of, of minerals than conventional products do. But even then, we may not be getting enough of them in our diet without getting the right kind of food and a good mix of foods. And so, sometimes supplementation of those is really important. So in, in addition to getting adequate minerals in a, in a diet, vitamins, of course, are very, very important for health and nutrition. And when a person is dieting, they may not be eating as much food and they may not have the same quality of food. So having a, uh, a product that supplements those and provides adequate levels of those, like Rescue Me does, is really important. Another important aspect of organic products is they really need to taste good. And Rescue Me does.